As we take an early look at the markets there, we're going to join uh, Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver to give us a little bit more insight as to what's happening there. Morning, yeah, Tyler. Good morning. Yeah, we're talking about Stephen Polo's uh, made a uh, speech yesterday that everyone was paying attention to. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's been a lot of questions the past nine months about the Bank of Canada's economic policies. And look, we were the only G7 country to cut our benchmark rate twice since the beginning of the year in the wake of low oil prices and uh, dropping commodity prices as well. So, you know, the Bank of Canada's governor, he was in Calgary yesterday trying to clarify a lot of these economic policies going forward. And he says, look, you know, there's not a lot we can do about uh, these resource price shocks, except for the economic policy that comes in the wake of this. So really, we see the benchmark rate being cut, and this impacts everything from uh, consumer uh, interest rates on loans to the value of the dollar. And the value of the dollar, it's gone from about 91 cents a year ago, and it's right now around 75 cents. And that's having an impact on uh, exports. And uh, that's what Stephen Paulus is getting at, you know, is that, you know, exports are now starting to gain ground here in Canada as we're dealing with a reduced national income from uh, falling oil prices. So it's interesting um, because we're actually seeing that it's starting to work. We're actually getting um, uh, some growth within uh, the economy. We, we know last, uh, the first half of this year, of course, we uh, are all talking about Canada falling into a mild recession. But in June, the last month that was reported, uh, you know, there was some economic growth. So the real litmus test is going to come next week when Stats Canada releases new GDP numbers. And we're going to see how much growth, if any, but most economists are assuming there's going to be continued growth in July. So we're really going to see how the Bank of Canada's economic policies have been working for the country as we're dealing with reduced national income from lower oil prices here. Okay, Tyler, thank you very much. And I'll be back in more uh, in an hour with more business news for us.